The justice system that a person sees on their TV is so much different than what it truly happens in the courtroom. And Chautauqua County District Attorney Patrick Swanson says that the process of presenting a case to a grand jury is no different. WNY News Now's legal correspondent Matt Hummel spoke to Swanson one-on-one -on -one this week discussing a wide variety of topics. Swanson was asked about the process of grand jury and the elements involved in it. The prosecutor says that the public is typically surprised about how a grand jury truly works when they are selected to serve. I think what surprises grand jurors most when they come in and they go through the, the initial, you know, the, the orientation and they're, and they're talked to by the county court and then, and then again by my office, I think what surprises them the most is, it's, is that they find out that it's up to them. Um, because, you know, what we tell them is, look, we will bring... Uh, certain charges here for your consideration, but we do not decide what you charge someone with. So sometimes they'll depart upwardly from what we ask them to consider. Sometimes they will depart downward from what we ask them to consider. But I think that's a, a misconception that a lot of people have is they think that I just charge people with whatever, you know, I want to charge them with. It, it doesn't work that way. Now, Jamestown man Julio Montanez, who's currently awaiting trial, was an example of an upcharge. He was charged by the Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office with first-degree manslaughter last fall, but was indicted by a grand jury on a charge of second-degree murder and two counts of second-degree murder.